This afternoon, we are digging deeper into the Uvalde school shooting and how it could have been prevented. A new KXAN investigation revealing how the sheriff could have known about the shooter buying the guns had one thing been different. So KXAN investigator Dalton Huey now joining us to explain. So Dalton, getting into this, tell us a little bit about the law. Uh, yeah, so it's a federal law that requires licensed firearm dealers to report any time that someone has purchased more than two guns within five days. The Texas House of Representatives Investigative Committee report released earlier this month has a small section about the Uvalde shooter's gun purchases. It stated the law only requires purchases of handguns to be reported to the local sheriff. Okay, so there is a difference then between how pistols and rifles are reported? That's correct. So the law requires gun dealers to report multiple pistol purchases to both the ATF and local law enforcement. But for rifles, the purchases are only reported to the ATF. And is there any explanation for why this is the case or if anything can is being done to change the law? So there really doesn't appear to be any clear reason for why local law enforcement is no, only notified about pistols. Um, but we did learn about a U.S. representative who has been trying to update this law to include all firearms since 2017. She introduced the current bill three days after the Uvalde shooting. All right, KXA investigator Dalton Huey, thank you so much for joining us. If you'd like to read his full report, just head over to KXAN.com, and all you have to do is click on this story. Democratic lawmakers say gun manufacturers are flooding America with assault weapons, and they want America to see how gun makers market their weapons. They also want to see what kind of money they make doing it. KXAN's Basil John reports Republicans believe Democrats are wasting time with the gun maker witch hunt. New York Democratic Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney accused gun manufacturers of sharing responsibility for the gun violence that plagues the country. The gun industry has flooded our neighborhoods, our schools, and even our churches and synagogues with these deadly weapons. Maloney's House Oversight Committee research says gun manufacturers made more than $1 billion in the last decade selling assault weapons. How many more American children need to die before your company will stop selling assault weapons. These murders are local problems. Testifying before the committee, Marty Daniel, CEO of Daniel Defense, a firearm manufacturer, expressed his condolences to those families touched by mass shootings. But Daniel says the company bears no responsibility and you can't blame the guns. Mass shootings are preventable when appropriate community systems are in place. Republicans accuse Democrats of attacking the Second Amendment while bigger issues need attention. To go after the manufacturers of gun while at the same time remaining soft on crime, defunding the police, supporting those policies. Republicans Jody Heiss and James Comer told Democrats to focus on the real crime in the country. Republicans want to target criminals. Democrats want to target lawful gun owners. House Democrats hope to pass a bill to ban assault weapons, but Republican opposition is likely to kill the bill before it can become law. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.